Now, Gary, I've got to warn you, there's a lot of pressure involved in this. It's rather like being in the six-yard box, last minute, or taking a penalty in a World last Cup semi-final. Minutes, sure. Last five minutes, too. <laughs> now, seeing as you speak some Spanish, I'm going to ask you to count down in Spanish. OK. OK, here we Start. go. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno, cero, vamos. What did you dream of becoming as a little boy? I dreamt of being surprisingly a footballer, and, um, and it came to fruition, surprise, surprise. When did you first think you'd really make it? Probably when I started playing for England and, kept, and scored a few goals. It was, it was literally like that. Everything that I did and every level that I reached surprised myself. When I, I remember joining Leicester and I started scoring goals at 16 in the youth team. I was surprised. I got in the reserves, I thought this will find me out, but I scored goals. Got in the first team, I thought, what am I doing here? This will definitely find And it just kept going like that, really. You could have become a cricketer, perhaps. Well, maybe. I was, I was a decent player as, as a kid, sort of played uh, Captain Leicestershire schools right through. I played in the English schools festival, that sort of thing. Um, whether I'd have ever made it all the way, I'll never know, because at 16, it was football's option came along. Took it, cricket took a back seat. And in the school holidays, you worked at your father's market store in Leicester? Um, I did. Um, summer holidays, Christmas, times when he was busy, but it was such hard work. Um, getting up at four, working till six in the evening, and you know, my dad used to do that, a punishing schedule, but um, it, it, it made me really want to play football, that's for sure. Do you still have a kick around? I, I don't. I haven't played a game of football since I retired. I think I've my last game was about my 34th birthday and I, I hadn't played since. My powers are pretty much gone. Um, I, I wasn't as quick anymore. I got frustrated by that and I, I was just ready to go and do something else and I've not played one game since. Does live broadcasting recreate the feeling of scoring goals? No, I don't think anything creates the feeling of scoring an important goal or winning a big game. Um, television replaces the aspect of the adrenaline rush um, and you know the importance of doing something live and the nerves but in terms of that explosion of different emotions of joy of relief uh, at scoring a big goal or winning a game is irreplaceable. Did you find it tough moving into TV at the beginning? It was difficult at first I, I mean came into it did a bit of radio but when you first did, it took I don't know it took a year or two just to get used to the environment maybe reading a bit of autocue coping with talk back um, listening to people's questions while knowing you've got to ask another one in a second all sorts of different aspects to it, it took some learning and um, the first year was was really difficult and it probably showed going back to your playing days how did you manage never to get booked well, I never tackled anyone in my whole career, so I was never going to miss time on. Um, I haven't got much of a temper, so I didn't explode. I used to whinge a lot at referees, but I didn't abuse them. And I suppose, and, and they didn't book players as frequently then as they do now either. Do you have a goal that you treasure the most? Probably 1986, the first goal against Poland uh, in the World Cup. I'd, we'd, I'd gone something like five games, for six games with England without scoring. We'd started badly in the World Cup. There was a lot of pressure on us. And I scored the first goal, which in many ways changed my life because I finished scoring a hat-trick in that game. Finished at the World Cup top scorer, the only English player to do it, the golden boot and a move to Barcelona off the back. What was that like playing abroad? Three years at Barcelona. Yeah, I, thought, I mean, it was brilliant playing at Barcelona. It's a, it's a massive club, brilliantly supported. We used to get 100, 120,000 people watching us every week. Um, great place to live. And... Um, I found it a fascinating experience. I had two really successful years. The last year was difficult because Cruyff decided I was a winger and um, so I had to move on. What's your biggest regret as a player, yeah, I'm a not former sure, player? Yeah, I'm not sure regret's the right word, but if there's one thing, I think, if only, it would be the penalty shootout against Germany in the World Cup semi-final. We were that, that close to actually getting to a World Cup final and um, possibly winning it. And it's the one thing I think... Mm. How disappointed were you at England's performance in this World Cup that's just gone? Well, d you know, dreadfully disappointed. Um, I Did you think we'd do better? I thought we'd do better. I went into it writing a book, a diary, you know, and, and in the end it turned out from what I hoped would be a happy ending to a sad one, and we're still dreaming. So it's, it's a shame, but we, we played really poorly. We got so many things wrong, tactics, 
um, preparation, the players didn't perform. It's a real shame. Do you think we expect too much from the English football team? Well, every other country expects the same from theirs as well. The Spanish are the same and it did well. It'll happen for us one day, I'm sure. Who was the best player you ever played against? Best player ever played against um, and have seen uh, unquestionably Diego Maradona. Who's the best player in the world at the moment? I think Messi. He didn't have a great World Cup, but I still think he's the best around. And that is it. Time's up. And I didn't even get to talk to you about maths and Sudoku, which apparently you're rather good at. I, I can defend myself. I'm not bad from mental arithmetic. And you're a free man of the city of Leicester these days. I am, which gives me the right to graze my sheep on the town or square. I just need some sheep. Tempted to do it? Be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> really good to see you. Cheers. Thank you very Pleasure. much.